The Seattle Christian High School boys basketball teams were practicing one November day under the watchful eyes of their coaches when something strange happened. I know one of the players went to pass to Case and Case wouldn't look at him, didn't respond, just kind of stood there and then dropped. Case was laying down. We uh, motionless. It was like it, something's bad. It was bad. Case Berlage's heart had stopped. All of his coaches immediately began working as a team to save him. They were trained in CPR, but it wasn't enough. They were doing chest compressions, and me and uh, Brack, I think, we were both just l looking at each other, and we're like, we need the AED. This automated external defibrillator, or AED, had hung in the hallway near the gym door for more than a dozen years, never used. You just open it up, it... Until the moment it was the one thing that could save Case's life. We turned it on. It started talking to us, telling us what to put where. Attach pads to bare skin, analyzing heart rhythm. And then it told us that we had to stand back and it was going to shock him. Shock advised. Stay clear of patients. And it worked. Um, they, in fact, once the fire department got here, they said that was what saved his life, was that we were able to get the AED on him so quickly. The AED got Case's heart going again. It, it was amazing what that 6x6 six six machine can do for a 6'6", 250-pound, 15-year-old. It's really a blessing. It was the perfect timing of you know, where it happened, when it happened. I mean, we're 20 feet from the AED. Every two years, Seattle Christian sends their coaches through CPR AED training. Just like with basketball, doing drills and practicing together can pay off, especially when the pressure is overwhelming. I'm thankful I got to do the training because we got to save a life that day. They did, they did what they could and they saved my life. I mean. I'm, I think pretty much the only way for me to ever really repay for them for such a great, such a great thing they did for me was to live my life the best I can and to really cherish these, these new moments I have. My husband and I are just forever happy or elated. Basically, it's um, like that, that AED was life changing, definitely. Um, Seattle uh, Children's Hospital told me that if they didn't have the AED, he probably might not have survived. This AED was donated to the school by a family of a 16-year-old girl who collapsed and died at a swim meet. CPR on the scene couldn't save her. Um, donated it to the school. They said every place needs to have one. This is really important. This would have saved our family member's life. All these years later, in the hands of four men who were trained in what to do, it did, indeed, save a life. I feel blessed that that family had donated the AED to us and that our school keeps it up to date and that, uh, that we've been trained on it. The whole incident was such a miracle in, in our lives and we're forever thankful we have our son. <laughs>